Hi, I'm Niall from Gulfstream Boat Sales. Today we are taking a look around a 2005 Bayliner 192 Classic Cuddy. Um, boat's fitted with a Merc Cruiser 3 litre, 135 horsepower steering drive engine, and it comes complete with a full set of camper covers. It's on a trailer. The, the boat's a one owner from New Example. It's been very lightly used and it's in immaculate condition. It's one of our stock boats and we're selling it with a full three month warranty as well. So we're going to take a close look around the boat. We're going to go through all the features on board. We're going to put the boat in the water and show you how it performs underway and just give you a better idea of uh, what this boat can do and whether it might be the right one for you. If you've been looking for a boat for a while, you've probably figured out that the used boat market is a bit of a minefield. The reason that we present the boats in, in the way that we do with the full video tours and all the detailed photographs and stuff is to try and make sure that you know exactly what you're buying um, and the other reason is that we can't hide bad boats with the way we present them you know there's if the boat's bad it's going to look bad by the time we're finished presenting it so consequently I don't sell and wouldn't sell um, boats of, of substandard condition this type of boat here um, that we've taken on a trade in is exactly the type of thing that I spend my time looking for um, and that I really like to get my hands on because I know how good they are, I know the value it, it uh, delivers and the peace of mind for, for somebody who's buying a boat to take their family out in it and it also uh, gives me the ability to, to stand over it uh, with a full three month warranty and I can put my hand in my heart and say that this is a really good boat and it's going to give you no trouble whatsoever. Um, so this boat it's one of those ones that just ticks all the boxes whenever I'm looking for my own sort of stock. Um, so this is a stock boat and it comes with like the full backup. It's about as close as you can get to buying a new boat in the used boat market. Um, and it's sort of my, my attempt to try and guide you through the minefield and make sure you, you know, you, you don't, like I would like to think my customers don't end up getting, um, sucking into buying something that's just, you know, not what it's supposed to be. Um, so. We're going to take a really detailed look around and I'm going to sort of point out to you um, how you can tell that this is a good one and whether you buy this boat or whether you go and buy something else, at least you'll, hopefully it'll give you a good steer on what you should be looking out for and what, you know, how a, how a boat can be presented and how you can, you know, the sort of quality you can find in the used boat market if you know where to look. First of all, the exterior of this boat is in really good condition. Um, the gel coat still has a nice sort of deep lustrous shine to it. All the, uh, the stainless steel work, the bars and the frames, the cleats, the navigation light shroud, it's all in really nice condition and everything's sort of good and solid and secure. Even the rug rail around this boat, which these tend to get pretty chewed up if, um, if you have somebody who's not very good at berthing the boat and coming in along pier walls and things, it doesn't, be, doesn't take long for these to get pretty chewed up and, and scuffed and chafed. This one's in really nice condition all, all the way around. We've got this nice blue colour band, all the pinstriping and everything's in really great shape as well. And just taking a walk down along the side of the boat, uh, you can see how good it is. If you look extremely closely, you can find, like there's one little mark here. Just the, you know, the tip of my finger. And, and there's another little one here, but literally, uh, if you were left to your own devices to try and find these marks, you, you, you probably wouldn't find them. Um, Apart from that, the, that's the worst sort of damage you're going to find anywhere around this boat. Um, apart from that, it's an, it's an excellent condition. Looking down along the, uh, the starboard side then, it's the same story. There's no marks down along this side at all. Um, again, the rub rail is in perfect shape. Gel coat both above and below, that rub rail is very good. We've got this little, there's one little scrape. It's just, I don't know what, what's caused this, but it's just run through the sticker. Um, and it's broke the sticker, but we've glued, the, glued it back down again, it looks fine. Um, but again, on that side, that's the worst you're going to find. Um, engine vents, the cleats back. The engine vents and the cleats back here are in very good condition as well. The, the hull bottom as well is in perfect shape on this boat. There's no evidence of any damage or any osmosis or anything of that nature. We've given it a fresh coat of anti-foiling paint as well, so it's just been coated or painted with two coats of international Trilux White. Um, and it's ready to just pop in the water for the season. It looks really good as well. I, I always like this white colour because it um, you know, just freshens the boat up, keeps them looking nice and clean and modern. So this boat is uh, it's 19 feet long and it's um, just under 8 feet wide. 
it's a great manageable size you know it's easy um, to store and to maneuver around in the single axle trailer it's also nice and handy to launch and recover but at the same time you've got a nice high sided cockpit nice high windscreen uh, with the cutting cabinet at the front gives you good protection from the elements um, and you know it will with it, it also has an 18 degree uh, v on the transom um, so that's a you know it's a proper deep v hull and it handles well in, in choppier conditions around the coastal waters of the uk and ireland um, so having a look at the tra at the at the transom it's a nice practical transom with good molded non-skin wide area on top for getting access in and out of the boat along with this uh, swim platform with a folding uh, ladder here with a one step um, swim ladder with nice you know sturdy handrails um, we've got a central ski tow point so if you want to pull skiers or water toys in the boat you can do that we've also got an auxiliary engine bracket so if you are using the boat um, around the sea and you want just an extra extra peace of mind of having a backup outboard engine um, that that bracket's rated to probably carry up to like a 10 horsepower four stroke outboard and then we've got our fuel, our fuel fill point here as well. The boat's fitted with a Mercruiser 3 litre, 135 horsepower stern drive engine. Uh, and it's matched up to this Alpha 1 uh, stern drive leg. So uh, the condition of the leg's very good. Um, the prop, we've just given the prop a little, a little lick of paint, but the, uh, the blades and everything are unmarked. The skeg's unmarked. Uh, the trim ram seals, everything's in really good shape. The bellows have just been replaced, so it's part of the, our preparation to get the boat ready for sale. We've given it, a, given it a full engine service and a full drive service, so we've changed the oil in the leg, we've changed the rubber bellows, which is quite an expensive job, but it's usually around about 350 or 400 pounds and has to be done every sort of three seasons or so, so that's done, you don't have to worry about that for another three years. Um, the anodes are in good condition, they're, they're almost at 100% of their original size, so they're going to be good for at least for a full season in the water. Um, and yeah, so like I said, the whole boat, including the engine and drive, is covered by that three month warranty. So um, you've got nothing to worry about. You can buy a sort of complete peace of mind. Um, it, the, the stern drive, that, that three litre, gives the boat a really good turn of speed. It gets up on the plane quickly. It runs up to almost 40 miles an hour top speed. Um, so you've got power for pulling water toys and skiers and stuff. Um, but also because it's still the three litre, um, it's fairly economical, you know, the boat will cruise comfortably at sort of half throttle um, and, uh, you know, as sports boats go, it's about as economical as you can get. So, I mean, 30 or 40 quid of petrol will see you doing a full day's running around on this boat with a bit of skiing, cruising around, um, it'll do it no problem. So we've got a nice layout in the cockpit here, which makes most of the space on board. We've got twin back-to-back -back seats um, on the helms side and also on the passenger side. Um, <clears throat> and these also fold out flat to make uh, sun loungers. So you, you can see this from the video as well, but it's re really easy to make up the, the sun loungers. This one, the one on the, the helm side is the same. Um, we've then got two uh, recessed jump seats either side of the engine box across the stern. And they're set nice and low inside the boat. So um, you feel sort of safe and secure back there. Again, they lift up and slot in at a higher position so you can make a full width sun pad across the back of the boat. If you want to look at the pictures, you'll see that as well. Um, it's, a, it's a single level floor throughout as well, so you've not, no, no ridges or levels to trip over. It's fully carpeted with marine grade carpet. The condition of everything in here is absolutely pristine. Um, like I said, this is a one owner boat from you. Unfortunately, there's no wire meter on the boat, so we can't tell exactly the engine hours. But all the indications are that the boat's been lightly used, and, and the guy, the owner who we know, um, who bought the boat from you, and, you know, it was an older gentleman. He didn't get a chance to use it very much, um, and uh, you can tell it's, it's been uh, it's been very lightly used in here. I can't find any uh, tears or rips or marks in the upholstery. Um, it's all in really great condition. The carpet and throughout is really good condition. All the upholstery on the on the gunnels, the side of the boat, the recessed, you know, these carpeted storage bins on either side, they're all in really great shape. This is a nice versatile boat. You know, it's a bit of an all-rounder, um, so you can just use it for day cruising um, and running about. And if you if you're doing that, you probably want to leave all these seats in position. You can also use it for water sports because you've got the power there and you've got the, the ski tow point and stuff. 
um, or similarly it's really suitable for fishing and stuff as well so um, if you are fishing off the boat or using it for water sports and things you can just remove these back seat cushions and they can store out of the way in the cabin and then you get full access up right up to the gunnels of the boat um, so for fishing it's great you get good access over here it's also nice high gunnels as well um, so you feel you know you're safe and secure inside here um, access out over the transom to the swim ladder is really easy as well um, and the other uh, the other good thing about the boat, it comes complete with a full set of camper covers. So this is the Bimini frame here, or the camper, you know, the support frame for the covers. Um, at the moment, we're getting the covers replaced. The ones that were on the boat, they weren't in great shape. They were starting to show their age a little bit. So we are um, currently having a, a brand new set of covers um, made. Um, so the, the, the boat comes complete with the, uh, those covers included in the price. But they stop here, so you've got a spray hood. I'll, there will be pictures as soon as I get the covers. But you have a spray hood which goes down onto the windscreen at the front, and it stops here, and you've got two side sections and a back section as well. So the really good thing is that if um, you want to leave the front section of the covers up, you can do that, and it leaves this whole area at the back of the boat clear. So if you are fishing, or if you're doing water sports or whatever, or even if you're just cruising around and you want to sort of get a little bit of a, a flow through of air and enjoy a bit of the sunshine without having to go to the trouble to take all the covers down. You can do that really easily by just taking out one section at the back, folding it up and throwing it in the, in the cabin there. So um, the whole thing is just, it's well thought out. It's lots of nice little practical touches like the non-skid mouldings here on the side, uh, gunnels and also right the way across the transom. Got plenty of hand, hand holes or handrails um, throughout the boat and they're all in really good condition. Um, and then like even having these cushioned gunnels, you know, if you are standing fishing against the, the, the side of the boat, it's nice and comfortable for you as well. Um, and like I said, the condition's perfect. There's only really uh, one or a couple of things I need to point out in the, in the cabin where it's just not quite ideal. But again, for, for a boat that's 2005, it's, you know, it's perfectly acceptable. One is just a little bit on the carpet here, which just come away at the corner of the, that uh, engine box molding. Um, this other side's starting a little bit, and we've got another little patch here. Um, but I, that is the worst of anything that, that you'll find inside in the interior of the boat. Um, so really, taking everything together, you know, it's pretty. They're pretty minor things, and again, it's a 2005 boat at the end of the day. Engine access in the boat's good as well. It's just a matter of lifting that engine box out of the way um, for more in-depth service work. This bottom uh, box also removes completely, so you've got really good access um, for, for you know, your annual maintenance and things. But for your daily checks, you can just lift the box out of the way, um, and everything's nice and handy to get out here. So we've got the oil dipstick down here. I'll just show you. Again, now we have replaced the oil. It's crystal clear. The engine has been run since we've replaced it, uh, and you can see just how clean that that oil is this is the original engine the oil was like that whenever we we got the boat in before we serviced it um, again it's hard to tell exactly the number of hours in this boat but I would I would be shocked if it was anything more than a hundred hours um, you can just tell by looking in there the condition of everything is perfect um, the exhaust manifolds the risers there's no corrosion anywhere this is our gear lube monitor bottle as well, so you can monitor the, the, the level of gearbox oil in the stern drive leg. Um, the engine mounts down in there and the bilge as well is, is super clean. There's no oil stains or anything in there. There's no evidence of any water having been in there at any time in the past. Um, it's just all in really nice condition. The steering linkage on the back there, it's all perfect shape. Um, so as I said, it's a three litre, it's a four stroke engine, makes 135 horsepower. Um, it's a power plant that's been in production for a long time, so you know parts availability and service and things is really straightforward, uh, and it's just one of those sort of tried uh, and proven power plants that just does it does what it says in the tin. So it's starting on the first turn of the key. It's running really sweetly, um, gives the boat really good performance, and we're given a full three months warranty with everything, the whole package. Over in the passenger side of the boat, then um, again the high screen gives good protection from the elements for the for the passenger sitting here. Um, we've got a little fold out cup holder, all in nice working condition. We've got our stereo um, lives down in here. We've also got an auxiliary input for an MP3 player or something. 
and we've got a little, a little 12 volt socket um, for you know running your phone charger or whatever. Again, nice hand hand hold, um, and we've got access into our cabin through this split folding door. Um, so it's a nice nice size cutty. We've got a full double berth there, so if you want to spend the night on board with the camper covers up, you can use in here as your you know as a bedroom. There's also a little porta potty down in there, which we'll take a look at in just a minute. And there's pretty decent sitting headroom as well. But it's a really good space for kids to get in and out, out of the elements. Um, and it also do doubles up as like a big storage compartment too during the day. During the day. Um, we've got a molded in step up and a folding uh, opening windscreen section to give you access out onto the foredeck. It's all molded and non skid. Um, and there's a nice flat area right up at the fore peak of the bow. So if you're out dropping an anchor over the side, and you can do it safely and you've got those high guard rails all around the, the, the bow as well. So again, everything out there is in really nice condition. This is you know, all the, the condition, the, the, the dash molding, the windscreen, the frame, the hinges, it's all in perfect shape. So the access into the cabin is through this uh, split folding door and we've got like a V-berth uh, arrangement in here. So during the day you can, you know, have a, you can sit in there um, it's a little bit cramped for adults, but it's perfect for kids to get in out of the elements if it's raining or whatever. Um, and you've also got this porta potty here, so that's um, this is brand new. It's never been used. Um, you can see you still got the plastic on the seat. The instructions are still inside it. Um, so that's as new, and it's good that you know if you if you do get the call of nature whenever you're out on board, you can go in there and have a bit of privacy. Um, the there's an opening deck hatch um, for a bit of natural light and ventilation and then you can convert this with the filler cushions if you check out the pictures you'll see there um, the filler cushions in place so you got a full rebirth arrangement there so that is really the benefit of the cabin if you're looking to use the boat as a weekender or they all you know spend the odd overnight stay on it you can you know it's a, it's a good size double bed um, and in conjunction with the camper covers up over the cockpit there's a there is a good bit of space for a bit of camping on board we've also got for added safety, there's a carbon dioxide monitor in here which is in perfect working condition as well. So if you are staying on board, um, it's a good safety feature to have. As you can tell, the condition of everything in here is really good. The headline is totally bone dry, there's no evidence of any watermarks or stains. The cabin upholstery as well, perfect, in perfect condition. And that's the original uh, seat coverings there. Um, the carpet on the floor and everything's all in perfect shape. We had a little bit of camera trouble yesterday, so we're picking this video up again um, today. Um, just to finish off showing you around the dash, we're going to put the boat in the water, fire up the engine and things for you. Um, but the, the helm position of the boat is, uh, is nice and comfortable. This, uh, this seat is adjustable fore and aft, and uh, we've also got a tilt uh, position adjust on the steering wheel as well, so it should be pretty easy to get a, a comfortable uh, steering position. Whenever I'm sitting down in the, on the seat, I've got a clear view um, forward out through the windscreen and there's also enough room if you slide the seat back to stand at the helm um, so if you're pulling skiers or if you're coming in to, to berth the boat you can get better uh, all around visibility. In terms of the, the instruments and stuff we've got up here we've got a full range of uh, Faria dials which are all in perfect working condition I think. Um, a few of these have been changed, the, owner was tell the previous owner was telling me um, in the last year or so so all the instruments are fully operational as is all the the, the bits and pieces of equipment here. Um, so we've got uh, bilge blower, bilge pump, uh, we've got anchor lights, navigation lights, horn, and we've also got a Garmin Fish Finder 90 as well. So this is really good for giving your depth of water um, onto the keel and it also works as a full fish finder as well. So everything, the condition of everything up here is really nice. The throttle lever, um, bang up the date Mercury, uh, side mount lever with the trim controls integrated into the handle. Um, and that's conveniently placed um, and then we've got another little cup holder down in here again uh, these these cup holders are quite a flimsy design but they do work but you have to be careful with them um, but it's a really good sign of a boat that's been looked after if the cup holders are still in one piece it means it's a, it's a boat that somebody's taken care of because they are the first things to break plus then you've got this little strap for holding the cockpit uh, the cabin door open uh, it's there and the button toppers all there um, all these little signs point to a boat that's been really well looked after and, and likely used as well. Um, so yeah, as I was saying uh, earlier, the Mer Cruiser engine gives the boat a really good turn of speed, gets up on the plane quickly, even the full load of people on board. Uh, the boat is CE certified, we've got our CE certification plate down here, it's rated to carry six people, 
So even with that full load of six people plus gear, book it's up on the plane nicely, it cruises at anything from around about 15, 16 miles per hour on the plane, right up to 35, 40 miles an hour uh, at, at top speed. And it's a nice economical boat, great little day boat, um, and a good all rounder.
So there you go, this is a, it's a 2005 Bayliner 192 Classic Cuddy. It's an absolutely fantastic condition. Um, really is genuinely one of the best ones I've ever seen. Um, and we're standing over it with a full three month warranty. So I'm completely satisfied that the boat's in great shape. I'm going to be hassle free um, for next owners and we're going to, you know, we're backing that up as well with a warranty. Um, it has, it, you know, it's got, a, it's got a nice specification. It's got a good engine, it's got an auxiliary, an auxiliary outboard bracket as well. It's on a, a galvanized trailer. It's just been anti-fouled, it's been fully serviced and had the bellows changed on the stern drive as well. And it's coming with a brand new set of camper covers um, that are being made as we speak. Um, so it, the boat is really ready to just drop in the water and go. And whenever you look at the whole package together, um, I think it represents fantastic value for money. So if you're interested in the boat and you want to come and have a look at it, or arrange a sea trial, please don't hesitate to get in touch. Um, just give me a call or drop me an email or you can fill out the callback request form on our website and I'll give you a shout. Thanks for watching.